Hello, this is Johan from Design Inc. Co. And this is the first of a series of short videos about creating joinery or mill work in SketchUp. I'm going to take you step by step through the process of drawing a simple wardrobe in SketchUp. So feel free to follow along with a project that you might be working on. Any model will do. So let's jump in. So first of all, we're going to create a model here in this this room here you can see I've got a little bit of a line here so we might just hide that and the first thing we need to do is to take measurements so we create our model outside of SketchUp so let's choose the tape measure tool and take our measurements so first we need a width so we'll take it from here to here and I would suggest if you've got a bit of paper to jot down the measurements so it's 2766 then for our depth we can measure it from here and that's 580 and we also need our height so that is 2700 okay so once we have this we want to hop over to um, another part of your canvas so we can start drawing our elevation. So I'm just going to hop over to where I've uh, drawn some, some kitchen components and find a nice clean part of the canvas. So I choose my rectangle tool and I'm going to draw the width and then the height of the joinery component and hit enter. Now, before we go on, it's important that we check measure. So the best thing to do is go into our drawing here and make sure that we are just checking that the measurements are correct. So that is correct. And this should be 2,700, so it is. So now, Let's just go back to our kitchen elevation and find our find the elevation of our wardrobe. And so here we have. So the next thing we do is create a group. So we double click on our wardrobe and make group. So if you go into here, you'll see when you click out of it and when you click into it, it is a group. Um, and this might be a, a, a point where we go into the front phase and we create a scene so we can find it better. So we'll go into our scenes tab and create a scene. And if you can't see that, then drop down window and make sure that the scenes tab is checked. And let's just change this to wardrobe. Okay. So, so once we've got that uh, written down, we can find this water of elevation anywhere. So we've got our elevation here. And what we want to do next is to divide our drawing. Now, before we do this, it's important to have some sort of inspiration guide for your drawing. So. So I've downloaded this image from um, the wonderful designs of Dicus Interior. And you can see here we have a wardrobe which has two doors and we have these very fine details here and with a kick and these handles. So this wardrobe in particular doesn't go up to the ceiling, but what we are going to do is to create a shadow line so that when these doors open, they don't hit the ceiling or any lighting that might be on the on the, the ceiling. Let's just hop back into our drawing and go back to our elevation. And the next thing we have to do is click into our group and use our tape measure tool. Now I usually do an, a toe kick at about 100. And so we'll get our line tool and section this off. And you'll see once we section this off that 
this part is in blue and this is in white and we should be able to select both of these. Now we're also going to do the shadow line. Now that can be any dimension we want. Let's make that 30 mil. So again we select our tape measure, we bring this down, we'll make it 30 and then we will draw our line and try and pick this up there. So again we should have this should we should be able to see the separation between the segments here so there should be this shadow line this is the main part of the wardrobe and this is the kick so the next thing we'll do is to choose this line here now this line is the top of the edge of the wardrobe doors so we make sure that this is highlighted we right click and we choose divide and we want to move our cursor so we can divide this into five segments so if we move our cursor up and down it can you can choose the segments that you divided into so that if you move it across here we have five segments so let's just click on that and you should be able to see the segments here that are highlighted so the next thing we do is get our line tool once again and find the end point of those segments and draw. So we should again always just check we're, we're segmenting within our, within our group. So again we are going to grab our line tool and follow and find the end of our, the end point. Here we go and again we'll do it for the second, for the third time. And then this is our last time here. So we have the elevation of our joinery. We have our doors here. Um, and we also have our shadow line here and our toe kick here. Now, once we've done that, and this is the final step, is we can click out and you can see here, you've got quite a neat little um, elevation here. So then the last thing we want to do is to get rid of our, get firstly get rid of our guide lines. So go delete guides. So we don't want to save this. Then we want to save this and then we go option. So we go into our move tool. So we're going to create a copy. We're going to go option to give us our plus sign. And then let's just move a copy of this over here. So the reason we do this is because this side becomes our elevation drawing and this side becomes our 3D model. And we can see here it's situated quite neatly in this area. In the next lesson, we'll look at actually building out some of the models, putting in some and putting in some details. We will then create, we'll get this ready for a render and you'll see how easy it is to create the details. Thanks for watching. Bye.